This tutorial is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your website on demand. And don't forget, subscribe for more tutorials. How to migrate WordPress site to new host. So here's an example of a WordPress site. And the back end that I'm using for this WordPress site is currently called IPX Core. As you can see, when I log in over here, it says li-jonathan.com. And this corresponds to this li-jonathan.com. Now let's say I wanted to transfer, uh, I wanted to migrate the WordPress site to from IPX core host to this other host called X10 hosting. Well, on this X10 hosting.com, I created an account. It gave me a username and it gave me a domain like a free domain name. So here we can open the cPanel. So for this x10hosting.com, this is the domain name it gave me, right? So I can click on it. And right now you can see that it doesn't contain much. So what the goal of this video is, is to transfer this, this looking website here to this to this uh, to this uh, web host here so the way to do that is to first transfer the database so to do that we go into the website and then we go to PHP my admin so this is the C panel for IPX core and what we do is we head over to click on the database and then click on the export button on the middle. And here there's quick option and custom option. I'll leave it as quick and then click go. So it takes a while to download, but you can see here that um, the SQL file, the database file has been downloaded. And you can click on it just to take a quick look. This is how the database file looks like. You can close it. And to better utilize it, go to the finder. Over here, if you look in downloads, here's the SQL file. I'll drag it to desktop. So you can see that the SQL file is on desktop. So what do we do next? Well. We know that we want to transfer from this domain to uh, this domain, or from this domain to this domain. I'm also changing the domain name as well. So, from, so what I'm going to do is inside of the SQL file, so I'm going to open up this SQL file. Inside of this SQL file, if I search for li-jonathan.com, I want to take all of this li-jonathan.com and I want to replace it with the new domain name. So the way to do that is, let me shrink this. Yeah, so you can see it better. So I'm going to open up or find and replace. I'm going to take all instances of li-jonathan.com and replace it with John, uh, jonathanlee.x10host.com. And then I'll click replace. So you can now see that it has been uh, the text has been replaced. So when we go over to Jonathan Lee X10 host, this is this matches this. So then I can after that I can click I can do a Control S or Command S to save. Close. Okay. Now that we have the SQL file ready, we need to prepare the need to prepare the database for this new domain. So right now the theme is in the simple theme. I'm going to change it to a theme that you probably see more often. So your new web host is more likely to look uh is more likely to look the way of Paper Lantern. So it takes a while to load. Yeah, it's taking a while to load. 
So you may want to um, you may want to skip ahead to the part where this video has been uploaded. Okay, yeah, you want to. Okay, anyways, so now that the C panel has, I've changed the theme from basic to paper lantern. Uh, your theme is probably going to look like paper lantern. Okay, so what you want to do now is to prepare this new web host database. So what you want to do is you want to head over to MySQL database, and right now there are no databases in here. So you want to create a database. So this is the original web host. I'm going to log into the original web host cPanel. cPanel. See? So this is the original. This is the new one. So the how you tell the difference is that for the original one, it's going to be called uh, cPanel 9 at IPX core. And for the new one, it's, you're going to see it starts with X. So it's X05 at X10 hosting. Okay? So... So what you want to do is you want to go into the the old version and search for uh, my SQL databases. And here in the my SQL databases, you'll notice that um, the database is called um, li Jonathan whatever, um, and the suffix is wp880. So over here in the new database, I want to create a database. But I want the suffix to be the same as w, WP880. So the only part that difference is differs is just the front part and then the underscore. So after that, I'm going to create a database. And then here's the database. So the database has been created here. Now you want to create a privileged user for the database. So over here, you create a privileged user. And what you do is you want to name the user the same name as the database. So the database is called um, John at 174, blah, 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 right? So you want the user to be also called the same as this. So that's why the user is also called John at 174, blah, 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 right? So for password, you can just um, auto generate a password. And here it says, uh, it's generated a password, so I'm going to copy it, and it says, I've copied this password and say, place, use password. Create user. So then you go back, and you'll now see that the user has been created down below, right here. Next step is to add this user to the privileged user. So here there's an option to add user to database. You're going to add the user to the database. Click add. And give it all privileges and then make changes. Go back. Now that you, everything is set up, you'll see that it's the database has the privileged user with the same name. And now you're good. And of course, over here, you just save th this password that you got. Make sure you keep this safe. Okay. So, or yeah, you want to make sure you keep this safe. And how would you keep it safe? Well, this is called our new, um, path, our new WordPress ad admin pa password. Okay. So I'm going to minimize that first. So now that this is good, you can close out of the, C, C, this version of cPanel and let's head back to x10 hosting again so this is still your web host your new web host and then make sure you sign in again and then you can go wait, wait till the cPanel is ready yeah back to cPanel so yeah, this is the, like we say, this starts with an X. So this is the new web host. What you want to do now is you want to search, um, uh, you can search my, if you want, but go to PHP, my admin inside of PHP, my admin, you now have the database. It's empty though. So now you want to import the SQL file. What SQL file do you want to import? This one. So this SQL file, remember, it looks like this. 
This is your SQL file. Okay. So what you want is, according to the instructions, it says you need to import a .sql.zip file. This one is a .sql file, so if you want it to be a .zip, go compress it. So after compression, it'll say .sql.zip. And this is the file you want to bring over, uh, you wanna, that you want to upload. So over here where it says choose file, go to desktop and select the .sql.zip file. I just leave all these check marks as they are and click go. After being patient, the file should be uploaded. So that'll take a few seconds. And here it says that there's an issue. So we can go back and check out what the issue is. The issue is we are trying to upload to a John Nat 174 database and this says li Jonath. So if you open up sub the if you open up the text editor, um you can delete this zip file. Okay, I'm gonna delete it for now. Move to trash. So when you open up the SQL file, you want to make sure something that I didn't do earlier, which is it change this name over here, change this name over here um, to match the name over here. So I'm going to call this called change from the old um, database name to the new database name. That looks about good. Control S to save or command S if you're on Mac. And then now, um, Okay, close this one. Uh, I'll just minimize it again. So then now you can uh, compress it again. Or actually, you know what? Uh, move this to trash. You you may want to even rename this one, just for the sake just sake of consistency, so that it matches the the new database name. That looks about good. Then you want to compress it. Takes a few seconds to compress. Now that it is compressed, uh, what you want to do is you want to go back here to import, choose file to import, and you're going to import the .sql.zip, scroll down, click go. It says be patient, the file is being uploaded. It still says there's issues. Hmm. Okay. Well, sometimes the um, sometimes uploading the go back to import. Sometimes uploading the dot sql dot zip doesn't work. So may so in that case, you want to just upload the straight up the you just want to straight up upload the sql. So that means uh, let me click on it. Sq that means the sq just sql without the dot zip. We can try that and it should work this time. Basically, the aim over here is just to import the SQL into the database. Oh, it's kind of strange. It says no database selected. So maybe you want to select on this database first. So click on this database first then click import. Choose file. This time we can choose the .sql.zip. Scroll down, click go. This time it should work because this time I clicked on the um, this database, so I have it selected. See, it says importing into the database John at 174. Earlier, I believe it didn't say um, importing into the database John at 174. So this time it should work. So let's take a look. So it's taking a while. You may want to skip ahead in the video. So now it says import has uh, been successfully finished. So basically the mistake I made earlier was I, I forgot to click on this database to select it. So now that you have the um database copied you just need to copy the wordpress part so if that doesn't make sense that's okay 
what I'm saying is that you have the da the database part is successfully copied. You just need to copy the WordPress files now. So over here inside of the where it says XO5, basically inside your new web host, you want to search for file, go to file manager, and go to public underscore HTML. So in this region, we need to copy in the file. We need to bring in the files from the previous web host. So right now we're in the previous web host because this is cPanel 9 IPX core. Going into file manager here and going into the public HTML, you'll see that there's a bunch of information in here. There's a bunch of stuff here. So what you want to do is you want to take all this information over here, all this stuff, select it all, and then you want to you want to compress it. So over here, I already made a compression right here, but I'll just delete it and show you how, how we uh, how we compressed it. So before compressing, you want to make sure you show hidden files. So hidden files are showed, including the HT access. So basically what you do in this web host um, file manager. So basically what you do in the file manager for this old web host is you select everything, like I said, and then you can click the compress button. Compress it to a zip file, click compress files. It's going to take a while. Hmm. Feel free to skip ahead in the video. So now it says compression results. It's been compressed. I don't want to scroll all the way down. Click close. So this is the compression file. So what you want to do is download this file. So over here it says well known too because I actually already downloaded one earlier. So Finder. Okay. While this thing is downloading, let me go into Documents. These two are ready. These two are from pre previous, from previous. So I'm just gonna move these to trash. Okay. So we're waiting for this download to complete. may take a little while. So like I said before, feel free to skip ahead in the video because it's going to take a while. Essentially, you just want this. Um, what After this file is complete, by the way, what we're going to do is we're going to take this file over to the new web host and we're going to paste it in here and uncompress it. So essentially what we're doing is we're going to basically copy all these files um, all these files in here into the new web host. Be patient. It takes 13, uh, 12 more seconds. It's pretty quick. Three more seconds, two more seconds. So it's usually going to take a long time. Okay, so now that the well known 2.zip has been downloaded, you can click on it. Oh, actually, no, you, it, you don't need to ex click on it, actually. You don't need to expand it either. So go to Finder, and over here in Downloads, you have the well known or whatever, you have the zip file that you got earlier, and you can move this to desktop. So in desktop, you'll notice that I have this zip file over here. So what I'm, what are we going to do with this zip file? Well, like we said, we're going to go over to the, to the new web host, which is right in here, X10 hosting. So upload a file. And what are we going to upload? Well, we're going to upload this. Um, we're going to upload select file, the well-known to zip. So, okay. Now this file is a zip file, so it should load reasonably fast or not. Still pretty slow. Now the longer, I mean, how do I say it? The larger your WordPress website, the bigger these compression files are going to be and the longer it's going to take to transfer over to the new web server. And that makes sense. It's like if you have more, more things, let, let's say you're moving from one house to another house, like you're moving houses, 
if you have a lot of stuff, it's going to take a longer to transfer your stuff. So here's still 20 something percent. So you want to wait till it's 100 percent and then you can click go back after that. Still pretty slow for the most part. Hey, sped up a little bit. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, by the way, feel free to skip ahead um, to the point where the this file has been completely uploaded 100%. Sixty seven percent. Eighty two percent. I'm just browsing around waiting for the thing to reach one hundred percent. Yay, 100%. Now click go back. And now it disappeared. So, okay, so here it is. The, the zip file has been uploaded. So what you can do at this point is you can click on extract to extract it. Extract it into public HTML. And then it extracts. Now this also takes a while too for it to expand, close. So this looks about good. So now, um, make sure the HT access file is here as well. So now you want to go into the WP config and edit that. And as you edit it, you'll realize that the database name and database user and all these passwords, they still show the old version. So remember how, what was it? If you go into the, remember how, for our new, uh, for a new database is called John at one seventy four. Well, you want to change this part to John at one seventy four. This part you want to change it to John at one seventy four as well. Okay. Database password. Our new database passwords is no longer this one. Remember, it's when you go over to where you save your password. This is our new database password. So copy that, replace this, paste, and now we can click save changes. So after that, you can test out the website. And it appears to be the same. See, this is the old website. This is the new website. New website not logged in yet, by the way. Click on projects. And it usually takes a while to load and yeah, that works. Go to contact. It says page not found. Oops, page not found. I wonder if the this page is also page not found. Oh no, this is page found. So it is a little bit different, maybe. You wanna search something, let's say search Salesforce, just testing out the new website. Yeah, so basically, if you go to about, it should work too. It takes a while. I don't know. And then the server is a little slow for a free, for a free web host. Yeah, so the strange part, um, after our transfers, we realized that this page is not found for the contact. So that's kind of weird. It's a little bit strange. So if you want to figure out, just like for our original, you can log in by going into login. So up here, I'm going to log in. Use your whatever your login credentials are. And then you can go into pages here. And you'll realize they're all pretty much the same. Contact is still a draft for some reason. Let's check out our original. So 
here's the original website. If you go to pages, you'll realize contact as well as a draft. So let's go into contact. Okay, that's strange. I'm going to publish this, publish it. And then this is our link, copy the link, go to a new tab, paste the new tab. It should work. For some reason, contact page didn't work. Yeah, so basically it works. So there are little kinks here and there that m might need to be worked out. But in general, the website has been transferred, right? You can see that, you can see that basically, uh, basically this website and this website are identical. They just have a different domain name. Takes a while to load. But yeah, these two are basically the same thing. Actually, they are the same thing. Just this one was hosted on IPX Core, and this new one is hosted on the X, X10 hosting. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please subscribe. And if you need extra help, visit askquesty.com and send us your questions.